pointed out to my paper because I couldn't solve one of the sets in the second section. Um, but uh, but yeah, sort of my other sections co compensated for it. Uh, but yeah, I was not, was not expecting this result. When I came to college, I came with an open mind. I tried everything. I tried uh, core. After my second year, I did an internship in Philips. So uh, MBA was not a part of my plan always. It just it just so happened that whatever I did sort of pointed me towards that. Um, my societies were purely non-technical. Plus my skill set I thought was more inclined towards non-technical, and I didn't enjoy my internship in Philips that much. So uh, that's how I decided that MBA is something that I can pursue. It's too early to say that, but uh, I think finance is sort of a natural option for me because I've been uh, so I've, I've taken a, a online course on finance. Plus, I sort of I'm interested in reading about finance and economics in general. So finance is a natural choice. I didn't prepare as much as I uh, think I should have. Uh, I prepared slightly less and I didn't get that much time or I didn't take out that much time. Uh, but uh, my like one preparation strategy mainly was giving a lot of mocks, taking a lot of mocks. So every week I used to take like at least one mock, if possible two mocks and I used to analyze them. Uh, so as engineers, we're we're more or less uh, our quant is more or, more or less done because we sort of understand the logic behind most questions. It's just that uh, we have to practice regularly, and uh, I thought the best way to do that was through mocks. So I took a lot of mocks. I didn't do all the packages that my coaching center gave me, but uh, like mocks is the way. It's helpful because because of two things. One, it keeps you regular uh, in terms of your practice. So you go to your classes every week. And you try to attend. So I was one one thing I did uh, one thing I did very very diligently was attend all my classes. I attended all weekend classes. Plus I took mocks. So uh, one it keeps you regular. Second it tells you about the competition because at the end of the day CAT is a com competitive exam where you get a percentile in terms of how what percentage of students you perform better than. Uh, so it keeps you on your toes in terms of competition plus practice. So yeah, coaching did help. Uh, it's not necessary, but I'd advise that uh, if you aren't taking coaching, at least take a test series from any uh, any of these institutes because a test series because taking mocks is really important. Uh, your fundas and your basic concepts may be clear, but taking uh, taking mock tests is very very important. So you can do away with the formal coaching as in classroom teaching, but uh, a test series is highly recommended in my opinion. The good thing about NSIT is that. Uh, we get a lot of time. At least we used to get a lot of time. Now, like the attendance scene is there, but we used to get a lot of time. Uh, and uh, it's very easy to take out time. So, like, fun, like you know. So basically, form a stat, form, like, come with an open mind. And in your first year, explore a lot. In your second year, consolidate uh, on like whatever you think. Like, chuck out things which you don't like and consolidate the things you like. Third year, you become more specialized. And in your fourth year, you obviously have your uh, maybe cat or your placements or whatever. But do take part in a lot of societies, even if it is outside the field uh, of your interest, because that's what helps you grow. And you get a lot of time, so time time is never a factor for preparation or doing taking part in competitions, uh, doing things that you like, even like building up interests. So primarily, cat, uh, just like as I said, take a lot of mocks. Uh, if you think that you're if you think you're weak in a particular topic solve that through your package uh, but like take a lot of mocks that's really really important uh, but yeah other than that like CAT is a very easy exam like I'm not saying it uh, in any arrogant in any, any sense of arrogance any sense of arrogance but it's, in, it's a simple it's a very simple exam what you need to do is you take out some time uh, every day or every week whatever suits you but give a lot of time to your overall development in the sense that take a lot take, a, take, take part in a lot of extracurricular activities Grow as an individual because at the end of the day, even if you get a good person talent cat and you screw up your interviews, uh, it's it's not worth it. So just be an all-round personality and not just like a bookish sort of approach to that. Uh, so there are three sections. One is your uh, verbal ability, second is your logical ability, and third is your quant. So logical ability and data interpretation and quant are like supposed to be strengths of every engineer. So you will 
mostly do well in those two sections verbal a lot of people lack uh read read books read the newspaper just be generally aware about issues around you 